Hey YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and Apple has released an update for the iPod Nano 6 generation and I thought I'd walk you guys through it. It's not a major update but it does change some important functions of the iPod Nano. Uh, and this is uh, update 1.1. All you need to do to install this is connect your iPod Nano to iTunes with the USB cable. Go to iTunes in the device list, select the iPod Nano 6G and uh, check for updates. If an update is available, go ahead and install it and wait for it to load. Once the installation is done, you're all set. Now the major changes for 1.1 is the ability to turn off the iPod Nano. Believe it or not, you cannot turn the iPod Nano off uh, manually. You had to wait for a long time while it was in sleep mode, and if it wasn't doing anything else like playing something, uh, in order for it to fully power down. So you now have full manual control of the iPod Nano shutdown procedure and all you have to do in order to, to turn it off completely is hold the sleep wake button. So there we go. Now it shuts off and to turn it back on just hold it for a few seconds and you're back to your iPod Nano. In addition the sleep wake button now acts as a control for your audio playback. Okay I'm playing cold play through my speakers right now if I want to go to the next track I just double tap. Okay, if you want this to do something else besides skipping to the next track, you can go to settings to configure this. So let's go to settings, go to music, and right here you have the sleep wake button uh, controller. So if you tap here, you can turn it on or off, or you can select whether it goes to next track or plays and pauses. So if you click play pause and go back to our music, Now this also works in the radio, so let's go ahead and get to the radio. So again, double clicking pauses it. Or resumes it. So that's pretty useful. Alrighty guys, that's a quick look at the update for the iPod Nano 6G. Thanks for watching.